Immediately, we've got a design and a presentation that's very different from the typical crypto wallet. I can get an idea of all the different kinds of native assets that I've filed away in my accounts, and it's all very clear and understandable. This is the Web3 experience you've been dreaming of, the one that will turn the crypto movement from some fringe group of techies into the next iteration of the World Wide Web. And it's really here. That gentleman you just saw is Matthew Hine. He's the chief product officer of Radix, and he recently gave an outstanding presentation at RadFi. Now, I'm gonna share with you some clips and some highlights from that presentation with the hopes of getting you hooked. I say this not because I want some token to go up in value, this isn't financial advice, or because I want more views on my video, although I do want that, so a like and subscribe would be sincerely appreciated. I say it because I want Web3 to go mainstream. I wanna see a flood of growth and technological improvement like we saw in the late 90s when the World Wide Web exploded onto the scene and took over the headlines, and it simply won't happen with Ethereum. It won't happen with Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Aptos, Polygon, or Avalanche. They're all too clunky, complex, and confusing. None of these solve the true problems of Web3, but Radix does. This video is split into two parts. The one you're watching is exclusively focused on the user experience. You'll see why this is the blockchain your grandma will want to start using. But just so you know, the technology behind Radix is as revolutionary as the user experience. So if you wanna see the technology of Radix, described by their CEO, Piers Ridyard, click up here or wait till the end and I'll share that link again. But for now, let's dive in and look at a wallet that is a hundred times better than MetaMask, Phantom, Ledger, or anything else out there right now. We have to rethink the concept of a digital wallet. It has to make it easy to hold your digital assets securely. It has to make transactions safe and predictable, and it has to work everywhere. We had to integrate five new technologies into the Radix platform itself. First, smart accounts. How do we give people a secure, decentralized wallet without them having to deal with this complicated seed phrase? So to make a wallet experience that's safe, fully decentralized, and as easy as using a typical banking app, we had to rethink how accounts on a blockchain work. We call them smart accounts. Unlike regular blockchain accounts, smart accounts on Radix aren't just an address. They're functional containers for assets. They have multi-signature signing and multi-factor recovery built right in. The smart account lets you recover access without a seed phrase and without trusting a centralized service. Second, personas. Web3 needs a better way to log in than Web2. We have to get rid of the hassle and bad security of passwords. Personas are kind of like smart accounts, but for identity. Rather than holding tokens, they control access to a login. Third, Radix Connect. We live our lives on our phones, and so, of course, the Radix wallet has to be on our phone too. But you still need to be able to use it with applications on your desktop and do that securely. Radix Connect creates a secure connection directly between the Radix wallet on your mobile phone and dApps running on your desktop. This means that you can have the big screen desktop experience, but the control of your accounts and assets is always on your phone. Next, native assets. We need a Web3 wallet that can clearly tell you what you actually own. MetaMask and crypto wallets today seem to do this, but sometimes you, you know a token or an NFT should be in your account, but you have to follow a bunch of steps in the wallet before they actually show up. Or you hear how sometimes people get scammed because tokens that they think they own suddenly disappear from their wallet. On Radix, every token and NFT that you can imagine is a native asset. They're not just balances in a smart contract. The Radix network natively understands assets as real objects that are held inside smart accounts. Last, the transaction manifest. We finally eliminated the fear and uncertainty whenever you review and sign transactions. Today, every signature is a leap of faith. Here's what I mean. The transaction that you're signing in MetaMask is basically a cryptic message. Meta MetaMask passes that message with your signature to a single smart contract. That contract then runs off and does whatever. And so it's impossible to know for sure what's actually going to happen as a result. If the smart contract you're using has a bug, or if worse, it's malicious, it can easily just take the wrong thing from your account. We've solved all of these problems by completely changing how transactions work. We call them transaction manifests. 
A transaction manifest isn't just a message you're sending to a smart contract. It's a set of instructions directly to the network. What assets do I want to withdraw? What assets do I want to get back at the end? That means that there's no more signing hashes and hoping for the best. What you see in the transaction manifest is what you get. This seems like the obvious approach, but for some reason, no other network does this way except Radix. It seems so simple. A secure, easy to use, high functioning wallet. Now you may not have heard about the tech behind this change, but Vitalik did, and Ethereum is in a race to copy it and create their own smart accounts. Look, everybody knows the seed phrase model is broken. Hard drives with millions of Bitcoins lost. People die and their assets are just gone forever. For regular people to put their money into DeFi, this is unacceptable. Fixing this problem is a massive, groundbreaking step. But as you saw, it's only one of the steps that Radix took to transform the user experience. Secure, decentralized logins, easy to view and understand digital assets, and a clear, indisputable picture of exactly what's happening with your assets. It seems so fundamentally simple, but it's completely revolutionary. Just wait till you see it in action with a demo of the Radix wallet. Immediately, we've got a design and a presentation that's very different from the typical crypto wallet. I can get an idea of all the different kinds of native assets that I've filed away in my accounts, and it's all very clear and understandable. Inside my main account, the Radix wallet breaks out my assets into different types. The wallet can look at each asset in my account, read those definitions, and show me what I've got. This is so much more direct, automatic, and reliable than what MetaMask can do. Let's say that I want to connect to Collabify, and I pull up their website on my desktop browser. We're not just doing email and password in Web3, we can do much better than that. That's why the developers of Collabify here built their application on Radix. And for their users, it all starts with that Radix Connect button. And right away, the Radix wallet back on my phone asks me if I want to log in. When I'm logging in like this, they make a direct encrypted connection without a service in the middle. And with that connection, the phone automatically received the login request. With one tap, I'm logged in as Radmat. And I didn't have to type in a password to do it. Connecting wasn't just logging in. I can see some pieces of information that I've chosen to share with Collabify from my wallet. This isn't data about me that Collabify is storing on its servers Web2 style. It's data held in my Radix wallet, and I've given the wallet permission to share that data with this site. It completely flips the relationship between me and the apps that I connect to. It puts me in charge. Collabify can see those backer NFTs in one of my accounts, one of my artists is actually sharing royalty earnings with backers, and it looks like I can claim some of those. If I click to claim, back in the Radix wallet on my phone, we get our first look at a transaction manifest, and the wallet can show me exactly what's going to happen if I approve this transaction. I can see that the result is I'll have 689 and some XRD deposited into my account. I wanna take a step back and look at how intuitive and clear this whole thing is for me as a user. Everything that matters to me is in the transaction manifest and is shown right here on my phone. There's no possibility of something unexpected happening and I don't have to trust the website that I was connected to before. As a user, it's easy and safe. And this is how it has to be for any of this to go mainstream. Doesn't that seem like the Web3 world we all dream about? Nothing was clunky or confusing. First, he got to keep all his own data securely in his wallet. That means that even if CollabFi is hacked, his data is secure. This is a massive step forward in data protection. Then he gets to see exactly what's happening with his assets. And no, it's not just an interpretation like the Phantom and MetaMask wallets give you. It's literal instructions for the blockchain. If an application tries to do anything else with his assets, the transaction will fail. It's true security, not the illusion of security that you're getting in the rest of Web3. But there's one more demo and I want you to see it. This is what happens when Web3 seamlessly integrates into our daily lives. Imagine that I'm not even connected to any website. I'm just sitting here reading the news on my phone and suddenly a new transaction pops up. From the message at the top, it looks like a transaction for my friend Russell. And what he's referring to here is probably the Dallas Mavericks game that we talked about last week. I can see that 
100 XRD will come out of my account, but also 100 XRD will come out of Russell's account. He's already approved his part of the transaction. We're interacting with the Dallas Mavericks ticketing app, and the result is that both me and Russell will get back NFTs that look to be tickets to a Dallas Mavericks game. Now, what Russell is doing here is proposing that both of us go in together to buy the tickets to the game. If I'm not interested and reject this transaction, the whole thing is rejected. Let's say I do want to go to the game and I approve the transaction and it successfully goes through. If I go over to my NFTs in my wallet, there's my ticket to the Mavs game. I can see the date of the game and my seat number. Imagine that I'm in line to get into the game and at the front of the line, there's an NFC tap scanner. When I tap my phone, the Radix wallet automatically passes a cryptographic proof that I am actually the person that holds this particular NFT. It's such a simple thing to have digital assets be this easy and intuitive to create and interact with, but it's absolutely key to unlocking Web3's potential. That's the kind of user experience that will make Web3, DeFi, and even the metaverse actually relevant to people. And you can't build it on any network except Radix. What you just saw barely scratches the surface. I cut much of this demo out with the hopes of piquing your curiosity. Look, for me, as soon as I saw how intelligently this chain was constructed, I was hooked. Radix solves all the major problems that are plaguing DeFi today and the ones needed to bring Web3 into the mainstream. Find me another chain that even comes close to this. You can't because Radix is that far ahead of the crowd. And it's almost time to see it in action. Babylon mainnet ships in Q2 2023. This is when the Web3 ecosystem on Radix goes live. When users, assets, and dApps can start really flowing into the Radix public network. So if you have a DeFi or Web3 idea, today is the time to get excited. Today is the time to start building on Radix to be ready from Babylon ships. And everyone who buys Radix tokens can stake and secure the Radix network today. Radix isn't just a breakthrough consensus algorithm for scalability. Radix isn't just an incredible way to design and secure dApps. Radix isn't just a revolutionary user experience. Radix is all of those things built together to deliver everything DeFi and Web3 needs to go mainstream. Join us today. You're still early, but not for long. That is a truly delicious user experience. One that can onboard billions of newcomers into Web3. And there's much more to Radix. To keep this simple, I split the video into two parts. You just watched the user experience video. The blockchain technology, how this network runs, the speed, reliability, security, and simplicity is every bit as amazing, if not more. To find out about that, you're gonna wanna click up here. What you know about layer one D5, greatest in the world, and they finally about to see why. What you know about XRD, I'm smart money, y'all ain't never on a decline. What you know about NFTs, it's not just Ace, when well, you finally gonna realize. You need scalability, need more utility, then you better call on these guys.